What is going on YouTube? My name is Corey aka Soul Focus here bringing you another video today. What better way to just brighten up this gloomy Sunday is to do an unboxing on one of my most recent pickups. These are not sneakers so if you guys click this video hoping for a sneaker review I would just go ahead and click on the next video. But if you do want to stay and watch this unboxing I really do think you guys will be very pleased with what I have to show you. Phillips Hue, Phillips Hue. All right, I'm done. I have what's called this man cave, right? This is the room that I do all my sneaker review videos in for the most part. Now, it's not anything that's very special. It is just one single room that I've kind of made and, and brought in some parts together to make my room. Man cave, I guess you would call it. <laughs> you think that's a man cave, man? You gotta have a basement. You gotta have a sectional couch. The reality is I don't have that so I'm working with what I got. I've always watched different videos on how you can improve your room setup or maybe even like home desk tours or home desk setups. And one of the key things that I've noticed in a lot of those videos, a lot of similarities is lighting. So I found these Philips Hue light bars. There were two different sets of lights that I decided to buy. These are the light strips. The reason I did not get the Philips Hue style is because they're like $90 and you get six feet. This is roughly, I don't remember what I bought. Okay, these Govi lights are actually 16.4 feet long and you can get that on Amazon for only, I think it was $39.99. Now, here we have the Philips Hue LED light bars. When looking on the specs, you can select between two different colors. They have a white pair and then they have a black pair. You can add accessories like switches and motion sensors to automate your lights, which is why Philips Hue is probably the front runner in this game. You can actually use voice control that's actually connected to your smart devices, whether it be Alexa, Siri, Google Home, whatever. It's compatible with all of those, I think. And just let me know in the comments down below if you have any other suggestions, but I'm thinking about putting them on the back of the couch on each side. Shut up, Corey, get into the lights. I know. And then we're gonna get rid of this. Okay, both of these are out. To be honest, in hand, these feel a little bit cheap. They don't feel super heavy duty. Here's your power brick supply right here. And then your actual plug-in, you just slide this in like that. And then actually down here in the bottom is what, is what you actually plug your lights up to. So that's what gives you the multiple different outlets that you can plug up to three light bars in. So like this. And then of course they include the double-sided 3M sticky tape if you want to actually just stick them on the back of your TV. And we can put on the back right here like so okay so as you can see in the background i've already got them set up they're plugged into the wall took a little bit of time just trying to figure out which mount i actually wanted to use i don't know if it looks tacky to where you can actually just see them sitting right there so there is a huge brick or they call it a huge bridge sorry that you have to buy separately whenever you purchase these i didn't buy these i think that they're only used to wireless capabilities I don't think you need it if you don't want to do that. Okay, first thing it tells us to do is to download the Philips Hue app. So we're going to type it in here. And then once we actually get that downloaded, we're going to connect the new lights. Got it! And I need a Hue bridge. Dang it. Okay, so... Uh, just so you know, I am an idiot. You're welcome. I'm not mad, you're mad. God, I feel stupid. To the tripod stand. All right, so now we're to the tripod. I'm actually going to do the unboxing of the Govi LED light strips. I'm gonna actually put them behind this TV here. I have a 65 inch Sony. Nice. Oh, cool. So you got your LED strip here. These are a lot smaller than what I thought they would be. Okay, let's figure this out. It's your on and off and I believe different light settings. This will be your actual power source. Duh. Actually plugs in right here. So then you take the strip, plug it in that. It will come with actual markers where you can cut so that you're not actually cutting the wire itself. So I'm actually going to plug this in the back of the TV and then I'm going to run the wires behind the TV and we'll see how it looks. Oh yeah, you want to make sure you wipe down your TV too with uh, some sort of cleaner just so that you make sure that the adhesive on the back of the strip actually sticks. Thank you. 
So I was able to still kind of hide the wires a little bit. Insulation really wasn't that bad. It was kind of just a plug and play type deal. There, this kind of actually looks cool. Oh, let me get some more lights on. Not only was I having to actually install these lights on the back, but I'm trying to maneuver like all these softbox lights and stuff in this room just so the quality looks okay. I don't know if it'll actually do it justice with this type of lighting. This angle actually looks pretty cool. So let me know comments down below if you want me to do certain videos like this. Maybe different, maybe switch it up, I don't know. When you go into the Govi app and you get everything set up, so I just named it TV LED, something simple and then when you come in here you can actually have timers there's different brightnesses to it you can actually pair music with it i can change color right now it's on the blue the like light blue you turn to a different blue i must be colorblind because it looks eh, maybe just in light it looks purple yellow green but you can do different shades change color with the rhythm of music let's try this Go right for love. I hope everybody out there is loving life, love God, and please make sure to love each other and stay safe. Peace.